Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem right away. Okay, we have the square root of x over 2 plus the square root of x over 8 equals 6, right? Now, as you look at this, it looks difficult, but then you can begin to break this into 2 so that x over 2 comes out of x over 8, right? So if we do that, we're going to have the square root of x over 2 plus, um, from here we have x over 8 is 2 times 4, right? That this is equal to 6. Now the next thing you're going to do is to split this and get the, the partial fraction or the partial fraction of this. So if we do that, we're going to have the square root of x over 2 plus, you know, we want to, de we want to decompose this to get the two partial fractions, and that will be x over 2, right? Then multiply by 1 over 4. Okay, because if you put these two together, you're going to get this particular one. They are still under the square root sign, and this is equal to what? 6. Now, you can split this again. You can split this, so that if you do that, you're going to have the square root of x over 2 plus the square root of x over 2 multiplied by the square root of 1 over 4 right? And this is equal to 6. Now, the next point is to work on this so that we get the square root of x over 2 plus square root of 1 over 4 is 1 over 2. So that will now multiply root x over 2 as everything is equal to 6. Now, what will be the next step? Let a letter, let's say y, is equal to square root of x over 2. So in the whole of this now will be y plus 1 over 2. The whole of this is also y. And then this is equal to 6. Now some learners may not understand this arrangement. You can write this as y plus y over 2 equals 6. They are the same thing. Then we cross multiply to get 2y, or we multiply all through by the LCM, which is 2. So 2y plus 2 will declare, will cancel itself from here, we have just y. And then here we have 2 times 6, that is um, 2 of. Now what do we do? We are going to add this 2 to get 3y to be equal to 12. Then divide both sides by 3. This will go here. And then our y will be equal to 3 over 12 over 3, and that is 4. But mind you that in the equation given, we do not have anything to do with y. Okay, so let's put in, let's go back to where we say that y is equal to the square root of x over 2 and put it back here so that we can get the value of x. Let's go there. y is equal to 4. And at the same time, we know that y is equal to the square root of x over 2. So in place of this now, I'm going to write the square root of x over 2. And that is equal to 4. Now, what again do I do? I'm going to square this and square this. This will go here. We have x over 2 equals 4 squared, that is 16. Right? And then we cross multiply because this is over 1. x times 1 is x. Then 2 times 16 is 32. So this is the value of x that satisfies the equation. And you know what we always do? We verify. The equation again is square root of x over 2 plus 
the square root of x over 8 equals 6. Now I'm going to put in the value of x now. So we have square root of 32 over 2 plus the square root of 32 over what? Over 8. Will this give us 6? Let's verify. We divide first, so we get square root of 32 divided by 2 is 16. That is a perfect square. Then from here again, we have 32 divided by 8, and that is 4. Another perfect square. 16 plus, um, Square root of 16 is 4, plus square root of 4 is 2. And 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So this is to confirm that x equals 32 truly satisfies the equation and if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe and share this to your friends and the students around you thank you